bedroom is a year full of black. So she ran away in a sleep. Our last football game. Our last volleyball game. Our last softball game. My last performance. Our last cross country meet. Our last golf meet. Our last swim meet. Our last wrestling match. Our last basketball game. Our last speech meet. Our last bowling tournament. Our last mate wish event. Our, Our last, last marching competition. competition. Our last soccer game. My last track meet. Our final bow. And the moment you've all been waiting for. Our first and last. Senior movie! So um, entering the year, how did it feel to be the oldest in school and you realize it was your last year of high school? Um, it felt like eighth grade and middle school all over again where all the teachers are like, you're the big dogs, you know, gotta set an example for the seventh graders and I don't know, I still feel like I'm 13. Entering the school year, I felt nervous. Um, I wasn't sure what the school year was going to look like. Um, I had a lot of friends that had graduated the year before, so at the start of the year I felt kind of lonely. But um, I wasn't timid or anything. I was ready to take it on and be bold. Um, I was like, it's, it's our year. We're the oldest in the school now. We've, we've been here the longest. We know the most. So ready to take it on. How was the glow dance this year? Oh, I forgot we can do that. I love the glow dance. I had a ton of fun. <laughs> I think the glow dance was really fun. This year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought the glow dance was really fun. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying this year and just like okay, put some talking on. about this year. Oh, the glow dance was so fun. Um, I think especially with it being like senior year, like it's the final one, like we had to go out with a bang. It was a lot of fun. I got to see people from like smaller communities outside that I don't usually talk to that I got to like kind of rekindle that flame and that was a lot of fun. I got to see a lot of old friends. I got to see people that I usually don't talk to and I hung out with them. It was a really good experience. What else was fun? I would say probably the best one I've ever been to. I don't really like dances, I'm really being honest. So, I mean, I, I like dancing, don't get me wrong, but, but you know, I stayed the whole time. You did? So, honestly, I thought it was weird. Um, when they played Patriot and Dougie, that's when it started. At the beginning, it was a little rough, but.
challenging. Like, it was hard, but um, just like the moments with the girls and like being with my teammates every single day for those last three months were really good. And a six one senior outside hitter, number 24. Um, I think when we did the, like the elderly theme, I think that was really fun. I didn't, wasn't expecting a lot of people to do it, but then like everybody did it and it was really fun. Wait, I don't see the king. Ooh, that's nice. That's Natalie. That's not bad. Is this designer? Yeah. Okay. Where'd you get that from? Uh, Caleb, <laughs> get back. I'm not. Yeah. Volleyball was definitely an emotional roller coaster. Um, it definitely had really big drops, but also very high highs. Um, I met some of my best friends through volleyball, and the seniors of this year, we all got closer through not so great circumstances, and it's just something that you definitely have to look for the silver lining in every story. Just like good bonding moments at like hotels or like at tournaments like where we just sat and we just talked to each other and that was, it was really relieving to know that like they were always there for us and that was a really good moment. Um, when I reached a thousand kills at our tournament in Kearney um, with all my friends, that was a really exciting moment. Uh, I really like, bus trips, long bus trips, so I can just sit down and read my book. And then weekend tournaments in hotel rooms with my friends. Yeah, uh, games are okay. Oh my god, home games are the best. About you yesterday. My walking favorite. down the hallway to go to our home games. Back Hallie Chandler, Hallie Girl. Girl. <laughs> home games are the <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I say hater, I'm middle. Go ahead, go ahead and start recording this. <laughs> Okay, I don't okay. know what my favorite part of the season is. All the hurt, all the lies, all the tears that they cry. And the moment is just right. You see fire in their eyes. Cause he's stronger than you know. A heart of steel starts to grow. When you've been fighting for it. I just want to say a big thanks to our parents and all our fans for showing up to every game. Um, and even though we haven't had the most successful season, um, we want to say thanks to the community for always coming and supporting us. And thanks to the Go dogs! Go dogs! Go dogs! Go dogs! Go dogs. Um, I'm Mackenzie Putnam. I'm Samantha Bass. What is your guys' favorite part? 
Um, probably spending time with all my teammates and getting closer over the four years. I think it was awesome and I really enjoyed it even though we didn't end how we wanted to. Yeah, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Wish it lasted longer. Some highlights that we had was senior night when we got the win against Grand Island. That was a highlight. Yes. It was a good one. Yeah. Playing pretty tough against Gretna. Beating rivals Carney. Yes, most definitely. <laughs> Here comes Montalongo. Swing and a miss. They did it over the Bearcats in the rivalry games. Recap softball season. So, uh, didn't really end how we wanted to. It wasn't a complete terrible season. I'm happy with how I ended and how I did, but I a, wish we could have made it state, but. Do you have a favorite moment of softball season? <sighs> probably. Probably just bus rides, honestly. Bus rides are always fun. It was just a great season. The entire overall, season was just a big highlight. Yeah, it was just overall. I like everything to say. You heard it here first. Smile. Smile. Yeah, we're good. So, Blue Stockings uh, was our fall play, and it is a uh, play about women's rights um, and their experience as they were trying to get the right to graduate from college. And I played a character named Tess, and the play follows Tess's experience as she tries to decide if she wants to pursue education or if she wants to um, go with the social norms and also like seeing it through Tess's eyes and like how uh, conflicted that she was um, was really an experience and was definitely one of my favorite parts to bring that to life. I thought it was really cool to see how all of like the historical parts came together like all the costuming and the different set pieces to kind of go back in time a little bit that was really cool. I think my favorite thing is it was kind of a smaller production. There were still lots of roles for lots of different people, but it was a smaller cast and there, were, there wasn't any music, so there was more time put in to just um, you know, learn, like you said, about the historical aspects and like, getting to know people. And it was also interesting because of all the like play director switching that happened, it was cool to um, see the different environments come together and see how they work together and just see the talent from different groups. It was really cool. I really got closer with, um, well, I got closer with the whole cast, but especially a um, couple of the goldies that I was with and like Joseph and Levi and we would go into the parking lot and just like have sword fights and like do stuff like that, like off stage, off um, when we're done acting, we would just have a really great time and really get to know each other in a way that like, we just didn't know each other before. And what was your guys' um, favorite parts about being part of that group? They're all just, well, they're all just weird theater kids and lots of them have kind of the same personality types so they're all just really easy to get along with and there's quite a few of them that are really good at making people laugh so that's always fun. What did you get out of the experience of being in One Act? Um, in One Act, it was amazing. This year we made it to state. This is our third time um, North Point High School has ever made it to state. It was a different experience that we were used to. We were one of the only comedies this year. There was mainly seriouses. Um, but we were a comedic script and um, we made it to state. What do you enjoy most about being behind the scenes and running all the lights? Uh, I like seeing the way that things get put together and how everybody acts on stage and how it's like completely different from how they act as a person. 
<laughs> so in one act, um, one of the actresses, El Gadki, she turns into a cat, and I had to be in love with her, um, and I had to wake up from a slumber and see her as a cat and be madly in love with her. Um, it was a very dramatic scene, but it was awesome. Okay, what are you guys' favorite memories with each other from the season of One Act? Ooh, I'd solidly have to say watching you like run around on stage. You blinded me like so many rehearsals. It was my favorite thing. You just me. turned on the spotlight and just blinded me and I just mm -hmm. stood there. No one was there to <laughs> tell me no. So. <laughs> Um, my favorite senior memory was probably camp this year. Like, we've been to a lot of camps, but this year I feel like we really bonded well together as a team. And our stunt group did a lot of fun stuff this year. So, my favorite senior memory was the UNK Shrine Bowl. It was, it was something new, like we'd never done before, and it was, I don't know, just a great way to start off the year. What's your um, favorite sport to cheer at and why? Mine is probably basketball. The, aggress the aggressiveness is like what gets me over. I like I like boys basketball too because I get high from I see Ruby like shooting all those threes and I'm like yeah you know. But definitely football because it's just like warm weather and just all good vibes. And then we beat West Side it's like West Side down. That was crazy. Um, what would you say the reason is why you enjoy being here? For me, it's definitely the like experience and you know cheering at all the games and supporting the school and having like a group of people that you can rely on. The environment and like the bonds that you create, even with people like you don't you don't have to talk to them that much, but you you see them every day at six in the morning, so like you have to love everyone. And it's just like the ball that you create. Pretty good. First, just explain um, your marching band season. The last marching band year for high school, how'd it go? It, it was different. It was, we had a new instructor, Mark Mesner, instead of Brett Bradley, and he, he's very nice, and it was a great experience. We kind of got to show him the ropes with our size of band, and we got to really bounce back opinions with him. Um, it started off a little rocky. There was just a lot of change and a lot of new things that we tried, and not everyone was happy with it. I mean, for me personally, it wasn't that bad, but for as one band, I would say it was quite difficult. It was um, it was a lot slower, and we didn't learn stuff as quickly. But overall, I was pretty happy with it, and I was fine with him being the director my senior year. Since we were the seniors, and we were kind of the leaders of the class, and it was great to kind of see the team that he made with our band. It was cool to be a leader. I haven't done that before, so that was fun. I enjoyed being the section leader along with Peyton, um, being able to carry the drum line as well as we have, um, working as one in total, even though the struggle through all of us and the way that we lost a lot of our members. And it was a little bit of a struggle at first this season. We were really struggling with kind of getting it all together, bringing the music and the motions and the visuals all together. And we we got twos throughout the season until we finally got a superior rating in Kearney at State and that was just a great experience to share with not only the whole band but the first superior for our new instructor that year. I mean, didn't win a whole lot of stuff but at least we won like a superior at State so that was pretty good. Friendships were great too, met a lot of new people, it was fun. Um, but being a drum major, um, Bennett is another drum major and he and I really worked together to create band more of a family and create it where people would be able to rely on each other and to rely on us to come talk to us with any problems and also to be able to really perform the best. Um, I like how much it feels like family and if you don't know that experience, band really is family.
easy part begins The story that they sold us keeps us hanging from the end So we'll keep on flying We go, Constitution Streeter with the interception. Yeah. Single line formation in motion. The pitch out to Colton Tilford. He has some daylight at the 40. Hot buster is the speed. 50, 40, 35, 30, 15, 10, 5. He walks us in for a bulldog touchdown. Colton Tilford. Woo. And himself getting in with a huge, I mean huge, 64 yard. Dogs, obviously, and uh, being two and three, and then coming three and three, and being that team, it was just can't beat that feeling. All right, so my favorite memory of the year, gotta agree with Creole on this one, was uh, beating West Side because I mean nobody thought we had a shot, like not even our own town. Three seconds left officially Lincoln's on the game clock. trying to be a big city. Yeah, they're trying, trying. Three seconds left on the official game clock. Four wide receivers are in. Oh Last goodness, play of the ball game for North Platte. Actually, now three wide receivers in. As Cotton steps out, Rezac stepping back, looking to pass, looking, looking, no hold call. Get Still him. looking, rolling to his right. He's going to go towards the end zone. Oh, no. There's an open man. Oh, no. And going towards, he's going to pitch it back, and it's going to be picked up by the Bulldogs. They did it. They took down the ball. Titans of Class A have fallen to the Bulldogs. After now, what's been your favorite um, boneyard moment? Uh, favorite boneyard moment definitely has to be the win against West Side. West Side. When the boys beat West Side. West Side. Um, us beating West Side. West Side. When we beat West Side in football. That was pretty insane. The student section was absolutely amazing, and it was incredible to see. Um, everybody come together and cheering on for one team. Because no one thought we were going to beat Westside, and then we did, so it was really fun and exciting. I just felt like everybody was super excited, um, everybody was loud. played like basketball I guess and like when I play baseball it like really matters like if there's a lot of people there you like look forward to the game more um, the atmosphere is like a bunch of uh, a ton better so like just having like more more students there more people like supporting and just makes the atmosphere a ton better and makes it actually like a home game instead of rather an away game. As an athlete I know how important it is to have people show up and support you so being in the student section I just know how big that is like for the football teams basketball teams all of that. like being a part of the student section? Just the environment, like I said, it's 
a crazy and fun place to be. All the people are just like so much fun to be around. Everyone is so just ready. They're just like, let's go, let's go to like either football, basketball, like volleyball, anywhere. It's fun, fun to be in there. <laughs> Did we not say I was saying football country? You didn't say it. Yeah. You guys all started saying it. You literally did. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Yeah, I was waiting. Three. You can cut your One. Dude, come on. Just say the damn thing. Just like, don't breathe and be like, say go. Hold on, country. But you have friends over here that can be good. Wait, can I be in it? Yeah, you're already in it. Wait, can I just say something? Can you put this? Hey, class of 2023, it's Marissa. We brought home some hardware for you, so go dogs. Yeah. And Janessa, um, how did your cross country season go this year? It went really, really well. We won a lot of meets, we had a lot of medals. Um, we lost some people, but. With all the new people coming around, they pick up quick, and we've had a great season. The girls made it to state. Um, we have some boys made it to state. Um, yeah, we've had a really great season. What is your name? Abby Jones. Carson Morris. What is your favorite memory of golf ever? Well, high school golf. Probably being state champions. Winning state. Part of your golf season? Um, hanging out with my teammates and being dumb in the hotel. <laughs> uh, spending quality time and just getting closer with my teammates. Our tennis season went very well. It was my first year of playing um, actual varsity tennis, and it was great to be kind of a lead of the team and encourage the younger players to, to keep playing the sport. It was my first year, but it was really fun. We got we made it to state this year, and we all ended up. We did unfortunately all get eliminated in the first bracket, but there were some really good matches, and we were able to watch some of the other teams we'd watched all year compete and encourage them. Uh, speaking for the seniors, because you know each different person you play with is quite different. Since they've just been around the whole way, it's just been like a journey with them because there's multiple parts that are enjoyable, you know. There's the people, there's the actual sport, and they're just learning something new. No, my check. Should we have him talk a little about the third season? Yeah, see you. What was your highlight of your season? My highlight of my season was probably shooting a PR. This year it was 76. Mm -hmm. Should I hold it? Yeah. <laughs> my highlight was probably shooting two 68s and 69 all in a row. <laughs> so. I need something different. You guys are too generic. Yeah, I totally have no idea. Highlight of the season. My highlight of the season was winning a playoff and being able to play in state. Oh, wait. Boop, boop. Woo, my Carson's highlight out. of my season was probably meddling at districts for the first time. Next. <laughs> now you have to say something Some people say go dogs. Yeah, I say go. Pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do we say, golf? <laughs> do it again. <laughs> We on our way home, we get bored on the bus, so we make animal noises and try to guess, and we're like, Kaylee, you're a good bear. Go dogs! Go dogs! Go dogs! Go dogs! Towards the beginning, I started off pretty hot, and I was getting faster, 
And then towards the end, I started to get injured and didn't do so hot at running. How about the team? How'd the team do as a whole? Well, the team did pretty good, I'd say. The girls' team especially, making it to state and getting the 10th place spot that we always get. Yeah. And the boys' team didn't make it quite to state, but we still worked our butts off every week. Like the day before the meets, I would run a mile and then race. And so that's what I did for districts and then the same for state. And I got 15th at state. Felt good. It, it's cool when you go step on the stage and get the medal and everything. But overall, the season, like physically wise, could have been better because I could have not gotten injured. But I love to be a part of cross country, especially this team here at North Platte because I think that this team is, feels like really like a family and everybody is supportive and I really like the coaches. They've done so much for me and, but other than that, I really like the sport of cross country. Like, I enjoy the single aspect of it. You do have a team, but on the mat, it's just you. I enjoy the aspect that nobody can do it, or not everybody can do it. It's a hard sport. I just liked wrestling to begin with, but then since I got a girls team, I was able to wrestle. So, you know, I was just like, that's fun. That sounds fun. I mean, I don't know. It's just beautiful because how many different ways you can, how many different things you can do. It's kind of a consistent sport though. Not the same thing over and over and over again. It's the aggression to it. It was like a pretty fun year, like the whole time. Because like all the girls like were just starting out and so it's kind of a new experience for all of us. At first I didn't really know like how it was gonna all like play out and whatever. But I do think I kind of have like a leadership role in me already and so it kind of just like came naturally but I was also like learning from the other girls as well. Anything you guys are going to miss from high school? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's what everyone says. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Explain just a little bit about how Bulldog Ambassador started, why it started, and what it is. Alright, so Bulldog Ambassadors started off with a, a group of friends of mine. We started off with an idea that Dana Sorensen, Alex Shamick, Joseph Roder, and I had. Um, we actually had gone on a missions trip the summer before and decided that this is something that our school needed. Um, we need something that it's not just the first day, it's not something that um, the freshmen get or anything, but it's the students that come in in the middle of the year or like um, foreign exchange students, all those kind of students that don't really get a big welcome other than from maybe the counselors and like really get them integrated into the school um, without like going up throughout their day not knowing anybody, not knowing where they're going, and to just really give them a connection on the first day. But we wanted something that would allow them to feel like they had a friend, to feel like they would be able to really get to know the school. We went to um, our activities director and we went to the principal and we really said that this was something that was important. Um, and so we tried to find people that have been here for multiple years that uh, know the school very well and know all the different groups, know where the person would fit in best maybe, um, and just try to give them a really good first day at the high school. And it's grown massively. Um, it took about a year to actually get it started, but 
Um, we went from four to over 30 people, which is super cool. And now, Bulldog Ambassadors started this fall. Um, what would you say student council means to you? Um, I would stay, say that student council, um, I guess it means a lot to me. I don't know if there's a specific word I could use. Um, I love this group with my whole heart and I don't think that my high school experience would be the same way without it. Student Council to me means like family pretty much. It's been the organization that I've been in the most and I'm really close with my officers and it's just a fun experience. My favorite event was definitely canned food drive. That's something that I take really deep pride in. I do all the numbers, um, I put them all into the computer and then I, we all set up the Kissapig which was a big deal and it was pretty fun to get there. I got Turbo, the pig, I got him all set up. Um, I thought it turned out really well, a lot better than I was expecting it to. I think the um, student body really enjoyed it and it was something new. We've never tried it before, so I think we had a really good outcome. I mean, the last four years of student council have been great. I'm definitely going to miss student council. It's like one of my favorite clubs. You're able to meet people that you don't usually hang out with and you're able to kind of be a leader in the school. And I, I was able to do a lot of stuff that I, like as an officer, as secretary, I was able to lead a lot of stuff and I was able to put a lot of my input in this year um, when I wasn't able to in the past years. But um, it, I love what you're able to accomplish and I love the memories and experiences I had with some great people. So it's definitely be something I'm going to miss. just the team atmosphere this year. Um, we're really close as a team and I just love going to practice every day and seeing those people and like spending so much time with the same group of girls all the time. Just love the team. Yep, and we always see, like find a way to build each other up and be positive no matter what's going on. And it all just kind of clears our mind when we get out of I've played basketball since I've been in second grade. Um, I've watched both of my sisters grow up and play basketball, so it's just been something that's a huge part of my life and it's made me grow as a person, so why not do it one last time? Mm -hmm. I've played it forever, always seems to make me happy, enjoy life, forget what else is going on in my life while we play, so.
do you guys like being a part of basketball? Um, just being a part of a team in anything, and uh, basketball is just one of those sports. You work so hard at it, and then uh, see other people succeed and stuff. And, you know, it's just something I've done my entire life. I like basketball just because it's been a sport I've played my whole life. It's, you know, easy, easy game to play with your friends and hang out. My favorite part about basketball is going to compete with my best friends. Yeah, going to practice every day, hanging out with them, and then bus rides. So we do a long distance kind of thing and honestly the running gets really tough sometimes so it's more of the people I like to do track for. But really fun. It's a trauma builds a good family I guess. I like uh, being a leader and helping see the people around me get better and I like just seeing the physical improvement.
some of my words. She finally made a man to scone. You should. Allie, I, I think the gray is better than your normal skin tone. Yeah, Gertie. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Gertie. <laughs> yeah, really, Gertie. So look, I think you look better than Gertie. He's actually silver, Gertie. Statue, Gertie. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have chimney <laughs> sweeps right now. <laughs> Great, is it our chimney sweeps? <laughs> no, go back. We have the questions, though. This is a different dance, though. Okay. Go. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, how does it um, feel to be a part of the musical this year, being your first year? Um, it's like, it was really new for both of us. Um, but I think, like, this, this experience has been, like, really rewarding, honestly, and, like, really fun. And I'm glad we did it this year. Yeah, it's definitely fun to do something new. We've definitely never experienced anything like this. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, how do, what does me, being a part of the musical mean to you? Um, it really has opened up another opportunity for me, like heading to college. And I've already been part of theater since last year as well. So this is my first time being in the musical specifically. So it's really opened up my field of range and also pairing along with friends. Like it's something outside of everything else where I can just kind of be myself and do my own thing and take time to like, escape from my own life, you know, and do something and be someone else. That's, yeah. um, I don't know, I just, as an exchange student, I wanted to try it, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm really glad I did this experience, and I don't know, you mean, like, become someone in a new school. Um, being a part of a musical like this, to me, is just, it's really like, there's, there's a lot of, of groups in the school that are very selective, and the musical uh, group and the whole music department is very opening and I'm just I'm glad that I can be in a place where everyone is really accepting of everything. Do I call you Mary or Carly? Oh, call me Carly. Okay, we'll just put a question mark. Alright, so um, how does it, um, what does it mean to you to be a part of the musical? Uh, it means a lot to me. I've been a part of the musical since, oh, I've, my first show that I was in, uh, I was in it when I was five and so um, it's definitely bittersweet knowing this is my last opening night, um, but I'm excited. It's going to be awesome. And um, how has the process been with this group of people? Um, it's been tough. Not, I think this, I think honestly the show is just like really hard, so I think that's why we've had to put a lot of work in it, but we've had a lot of work. Um, do you think there will be any complications tonight with your flying? God, I hope not. <laughs> I don't think there will. Don't worry, I'll get on video. Okay, okay, nice. Um, it's a great group of people. People work very hard, and so it's been a very fun and simple process. It's been pretty well. Like, we've had a lot of bumpy roads along the way, and quite a few workarounds, but everyone has been getting their act together, and it's been really good finding that teamwork and cooperation with them. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Um, what's your are you excited for tonight? I'm super excited. Super excited? Yeah. Um, it's been really fun. It's been a lot of work. Probably one of the hardest shows I've ever done. Um, but these kids are awesome, so I'm super excited. And how does it feel that um, all the seniors in the last time you Oh, this one's going to be hard because I've known these seniors since they were like in kindergarten, so there will probably be a few tears, but good ones. Good ones. They're going on to better, bigger and better things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, just keep doing what you do and be confident. We'll be good. Um, I have no idea what the crowd is gonna be like tonight. Not that that matters, because you perform the same way no matter what. Um, but what we do tonight is what's gonna draw the crowds in for the next three days. You put in a lot of hard work, you're ready. We're proud of you. This is probably the hardest show I've ever directed and I had no idea what I was getting into. I'm still alive, but I'm barely breathing. Welch, how excited are you from 1 to 10? 11. Cause I got time while she got freedom. Cause when a heart breaks, no, it don't break. No, it don't break, no, it don't break even. What am I gonna do when the best try to be with What am I supposed to say when I'm all choked up that you're okay?
the silver line into the story if you thought that i would turn and run then y'all don't know me may my fears rest in peace cause that's a old me got this taste on my tongue i crave the glory i, I enjoy the people and the coaches it's just really fun atmosphere every day i think it's been fun just because we have so many players that are like pretty even in skill level so it's been fun to just see how we switch people around to try new positions and try new things. Um, it's sad because you've made a lot of like good relationships with the underclassmen, like a lot of the freshman girls. What has been your favorite part of your tennis season? Um, probably playing with my teammates and winning matches. I feel like we've always had like key players, like ones that we can always count on, but this year we're all the key players. Bro! Who's that inspirational? We're all in this together. What has been your guys' favorite part of your soccer season? Just being with them all the time. Yeah, the memories you make, like the friendships you build for some that you never would have built unless you play sports. So. Yeah. I like the buzz. I also just really enjoy the games, like in the moment. And then, I guess my, the second half of me is just kind of accepting the fact that we are getting older and like, mm -hmm. soccer isn't everything and no. we're going to be going yeah, on to like a bunch of really great things. Yeah, and it's been a huge part of our lives too, like I yeah. sometimes base my life around soccer and I'm like, well, those four years went quick, it's just mm -hmm. been real quick. Yeah, it feels weird that looking back, like when I was like a sophomore or whatever, like looking back doesn't feel like... It was unreal that like I'm already a senior and it's like not gonna be a next year mm -hmm. and more games at all. I was expecting a bit more out of them, but I mean, at the end of the day, honestly, go dogs. Like, go <laughs> dogs to say, just dubs. For the rest of the year, what are you most looking forward to? Graduating. Yeah. <laughs> That's not graduating. Oh, prom. Um, probably track and prom. I was really looking forward to homecoming and prom this year because it's like senior year. Woo! All, all, all in. So. That's what I'm really excited for. Like, it's a lot of fun. I can't wait for prom this year. Yeah, I'm really excited for prom. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking forward to. Like, I don't know what I'm looking forward to. Like, I don't know what I'm looking forward to. Like, I don't know what I'm looking forward to. Like, I don't know what I'm looking forward to. Like, I don't know what I'm looking forward to. Like, I don't know what I'm looking forward to. Like, I don't know what I'm looking forward to. Like, I don't know what I'm looking forward to. Like, I don't know what I'm looking forward to. Like, I don't know what I'm looking forward to. Like, I don't know what I'm looking forward to. Like, I don't know what I'm looking
this senior class will miss the funny kids the humor and um, some of you we probably won't miss because you woo, you kind of caused us some headaches but Cheryl what you <laughs> I will miss the relationship we built with the kids that come in to see us on a daily um, whether just to say hello um, 
grab a sucker, food from us. Uh, so you're more positive than me. Yeah. <laughs> We'll miss you all. We will. We'll miss you guys. Good luck. In Good the luck. Future. Probably the uniqueness. There's a lot of personalities and they weirdly mesh, even though everyone is so different from each other. Everybody kind of brings something to the table and come together to do good things. Oh, uh, my favorite part of the senior class has been the heart that beats. I feel like consistently among everybody, everybody is so generous and caring, thoughtful, always looking out for another. And I feel like as far as senior classes go, this has been one that has been super close as far as I can tell, which is a pretty cool thing to see as far as you guys go. Well, I, I think as a collective whole, you know, this class was full of leaders, it was full of you know, uh, dynamic, charismatic characters. You know, uh, it was a class that you know made the school, you know, better. Yeah, you know, one that you know, it always sounds cliche, but when I think about you know uh, classes that have passed through, leaving their mark, yeah, you know, I don't know as if there's been many that would hold the same standard that this class is creating. You know, so it's nice to see a class like this go by and yeah, you know, or come through and yeah, you know, make their mark, I guess. My favorite thing was that the senior class was very pleasant this year. Um, we also did a lot of singing in class, which I like to play guitar, and uh, there was a lot of kids that liked to participate, so that was a ton of fun. Um, one of my favorite things about the class of 2023 is that you are very resilient. Um, you know, you, you went through the pandemic and came back and really um, nailed, nailed that hit the nail on the head, right? And you figured it out and you um, overcame. And also, a lot of you are just fun. You're a lot of fun to have in class and to um, and you enjoy learning and that was great. You are awesome. Well, the kids I had are awesome and they love to participate and they enjoy Spanish with me. I think the senior group has a lot of leadership. Uh, this is my first year here and they've been uh, a lot of help from me to improve myself as a teacher and uh, just a hardworking group of kids. If we're you know, talking about every senior that comes through your classroom is very important to you. Every student that comes through is important to you. So anytime you see them graduate, a little piece of you goes with them. But, but I think these seniors that are leaving are bulldogs through and through. They're bulldogs in their heart. And we're gonna certainly miss them, but I hope they realize that's something that is going to be passed down to the classes that come on behind them and some that will last for years. Well, for one, my Bulldog time are seniors this year, so they're going to hold you know, a place in my heart. Uh, just going four years with them and, and seeing them every day. But also in my classes, I've had so many, I have a lot of talented uh, video kids that it started with me when we started the program uh, when they were freshmen and sophomores, and now they're seniors. and. Uh, it's just been fun watching them grow and some of the projects they've done. And so, you know, next year there's just really big shoes to fill and it's kind of kind of depressing, but I know they're going to go on and do big things. <laughs> okay, um, what's your favorite thing about uh, the senior class? Uh, the seniors that I have, actually I was lucky enough to have Bulldog time seniors. Um, it's fun watching them at this level and the maturity that they have. So it's nice to have adult conversations about where lives are going and what they're interested in. And um, what are you going to miss from this senior class? Um, a lot of quirky attitudes. Um, lots of people involved in way more than they should be. Uh, just giving uh, a lot of time and effort into making the school a better place. Do you want to say Uriel was where I got to be pissed? <laughs> no. I feel like this is like every few years, and I don't know, the last time I had a really good connection with like the class was when I had Bulldog time, you know, seniors again, too, because I feel like I get to know them and I have really good connections with them, so I think that's been a huge thing, and I feel like even some of the kids that aren't in my Bulldog time, I feel like I've gotten connected because of the, you know, kids that, by association, that I've known since they were freshmen, so I think that's a huge part of it. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna, it, this, it wouldn't be the same coming back here after seeing this class leave. Well, what's your favorite thing about the class? My favorite thing? Yeah, personalities. I think just the diverse personalities and the connections that I have with them. 
Like I feel like I know them. Mm -hmm. Have really good, you know, senses of humor and lots of character. Uh, I think I'm gonna miss just um, all the different types of personalities in the senior class. This senior class feels especially um, special to me because it's the first class that I get to see graduate because my last group of high schoolers in St. Louis, I didn't get to see them graduate because of COVID. So I feel especially connected to this group because they're the first class I taught that I get to watch walk across the stage. So I think I'm just gonna miss seeing those like special little seniors walking around the hallways and all their different personalities. And so they're special to me. I love you senior class. You guys are the first ones I've seen graduate for a long time. So I really truly am just gonna miss seeing all of you because you have a special place in my heart. Let's take it all the way. Are you going to miss anything from high school? I think what I'm going to miss is the amount of opportunities that we had, like with all the different sports and things that we could do. It was a really good opportunity for us. Definitely just the people here. The staff and the students here are mostly top notch. Probably my friends. Because I probably won't see them as much as I do now, obviously, because we're probably going to go different ways and stuff, so, yeah. Yeah, definitely all my friends. Definitely all the teachers that I have that I've all just worked with and communicated with and to call them my like, friends, basically. Definitely the friends I've made and, like, the activities and, like, extracurriculars and the teachers, because teachers have been super helpful and impactful and I've learned a lot. Probably the relationships that I have with people. Um, I really appreciate hanging out with teachers and talking with them, regardless of the good, the bad, and the ugly, because I found comfort in people that I can go and talk to. And so, especially my Bulldog Time teacher, Mrs. Peterson, I love you. You're so awesome. I was like, during the beginning of the year, I was just looking forward to leaving. I just wanted to get out of here, but as time went on, and especially now, the stronger feeling of wanting to stay longer, just to make more memories while I'm here, is what I'm mainly focusing on. I'm probably going to miss a lot of things. I mean, most of the memories, just because school is fun, and some days at least, but memories with friends, and memories with Bulldog times, and classmates, and sports and all that, it's pretty fun. I think I'm gonna miss my teachers and all the friends I made because it's like I really got to make those friendships and bonds that lasted a really long time and then it feels like I'm never gonna see them again. So are you really ready to leave that all behind? How does it feel to have graduation in, in less than a month? Pretty surreal. It's 
kind of sad that I get to watch all my friends go, but it's also exciting because all the relationships that I've built here, I get to watch them grow and move forward in their life. So it's really, really cool to see. All the things that you do And um, where are you guys going after high school? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to UNK. I have Cranny Bound, and then I'm running cross country and track there. Okay, so Zara has a plan, and Avery will be homeless. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm being interrogated. That's why I said, Chris, let's put her in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> the table's not high enough. You need like a light just shining so yeah, that it's like. Just a spotlight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Karen. Get down. Okay, what was your favorite part about basketball? Um, wait, I want to restart. Why you shoot? I'm losing hair from the stress. <laughs> the vest? I, like my, I have my vest on. Did you, did you not see my vest on this morning? <laughs> it's not snowing. Does it not complete the outfit though? It was it all? cute, but. Should I take it off? No, it looks fine. Why am I in a t shirt and you're in a vest? Go ahead and 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 go Maybe not even for the movie, just like in general. Oh, Jesus. I'm flashing. I can You're gonna monowalk? Yeah. With my hair in my face, too. Okay, I'm done monowalking. What do you gotta say to the seniors? What do you gotta say? Class of 2023, right? Go dogs! Go dogs! Honestly, go dogs. Like, who's the to say dubs? Wait, aren't you gonna say it? No, I'm not gonna say it. Come on, Kev, you have to for the end. <sighs> Fine. Bulldog Country, thank you for one hell of a ride.